Good afternoon, everyone. This is Nadia Sobrati. I'm a personal branding specialist from createwealthwithnadia.com. How is everyone doing today? Uh, looks like Facebook is actually building my audience right now. So when you guys jump in, please let me know where you're coming from so I can give you a shout out. And um, so today's topic, right, is how to create content to get engagement and turn them into leads and sales. Okay, so I'm actually, uh, hey, Kanjil, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you for joining me. So how was the weather in your side of the world? Okay, guys, so I want to talk to you all about creating content, right? And, you know, before you start creating content, guys, you need to know your target audience. And, um, you know, if you don't know your target audience and you're just creating content, or maybe if you don't have a target audience, right, and you're just creating content, guess what, guys? No one is going to read your stuff, right? No one is going to read your stuff. And um, how are you actually going to get, like, engagement and turn those engagement into leads and sales, right? Hey, Sylvette. Hey, Thomas. What's going on, my friend? Thank you for joining me. Hey, Richard. What's up, Richard? How's the weather on your side of the world? Oh, my gosh, guys. Um, you know, I was trying to... Hillary, we were trying to do an interview earlier, but um, uh, Hillary was having some issues, you know, with her phone and stuff like that. So we decided to uh, reschedule the interview. Are we actually going to do that another time? Hey, Errol. What's up, my friend? Hey, Pat. Thank you all so much for joining me. So, guys, today we're going to talk about content, right? Because it's so important, guys, that you have a target audience, that you know your target audience, right, guys? So maybe, and this is going to work for anything. It doesn't matter if you're in a health niche, uh, if you are, you know, it, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what niche you're in, what product you're selling, or whatever it is. As long as you know your, as long as you have a target audience and you know your target audience, guess what, guys? You can create content for them because guess what? They're going to read your content, right? So if you don't know your target audience or you don't have a, a target audience and you're creating tons and tons of content, guys, chances are you're not going to get any engagement, okay? So let's talk about some types of content that you guys can create to actually, you know, turn them into leads and sales, right, guys? So um, I want to talk to you a little bit about lifestyle, lifestyle images. Guys, when it comes to content, right, people want to see your lifestyle. It shows that you're real. It shows that you're authentic, right? So it doesn't matter, guys. A lot of people say to me, well, Nadia, I don't go out much or I don't go on vacation much. Guys, none of that has anything to do with your lifestyle. Well, yes, it does. But, you know, your audience is not really looking at that. Guys, it could be you going out to dinner with your family. Or maybe, you know, you're going out, you're running, you're at the park or you're at the gym, right? People who like to take care of themselves, they go to the gym. That's their lifestyle, for example, right? Hey, champ. Hey, uh, hey, Sheen, how you doing, my friend? Okay, guys, so you want to take pictures of that. Or let's say, let's say you're boarding a plane. Let's say you, you're going, you, you know, you're going on vacation, right, guys? You want to take a picture of you. Hey, Hillary, what's up, beautiful? You want to take a picture of you at the airport. Okay, guys, this is your lifestyle. You want to take a picture of you on the, on the plane. Guys, these are things people want to see. When I was going to Egypt, right? I, I did a video at the airport, and I was showing people, oh, you know, that's the plane I'm getting on, all of this stuff. Guys, I probably got like, I don't know, maybe close to a 1,000 views when I went live, and I didn't even syndicate my content because people like to see these things. People want to see you at the airport. People want to see you on vacation. These are things people want to see, right? But if, you, if you're not doing these things, that's okay too. You can do your lifestyle image, guys, is part of your personal brand. It's part of branding you. So you want people to see your lifestyle. Let's say you're a mother, right? And you have children and, and you're cooking dinner or you're doing homework with your kids, right guys? Let's say you're branding yourself, you know, in, in that way. Guys, people want to see that. You're going to attract parents. You know what I'm saying? You're going to attract mothers and stuff like that. So you want to show them your lifestyle. Hey, Paul. Hey, Ilya. Um, so you want to show them your lifestyle. Maybe you're out barbecuing. Guys, simple things like that. You're out to dinner. You want to show people these things, okay? So we just covered lifestyle. So let's talk about branded quotes. So guys, branded quotes are branded to you, okay? You can go on Canva, and they're so simple to do. I've done trainings like this with my team. I showed them how to create branded quotes where they can use these branded images. It has their like their uh, their names on it. Well, for me, it's Ask Nadia Sobrati. So if anyone clicks Ask Nadia Sobrati, it takes them to all my content, like videos, you know, quotes, 
everything, all my content, right? So, and, and the thing is what I do with these um, lifestyle images and what I do with these branded quotes, I syndicate them on all the other platforms. I syndicate them on, on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, YouTube, and uh, Pinterest, right? Because I just started, hey, Michelle, what's up, beautiful? I just started building my Pinterest audience. And, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how, how to uh, use Pinterest because I'm on all the other platforms. But what I'm doing is I'm actually uploading branded quotes, you know, and lifestyle images. So I do that twice a day. And I'm doing that on all the platforms. And guess what, guys? On my branded quotes, it has the link to my website. So thousands and thousands of people have seen my website. So you know what? When you do branded quotes, guys, you're sending them to your website. So people, go, they're going to click on that and it's going to take them right to your blog or, or your business opportunity. But it's better for you to like have your blog when you're doing your branded quotes because then you can like start creating your custom audience. Well, anyway, that's a different topic. But these are things you guys want to start doing, right? Start creating branded quotes. Yes, it takes time. If you guys don't know how to create branded quotes, guys, you could go to Fiverr. It'll probably cost you like maybe $6 to do a branded quote. But you need a lot of them, so you guys need to start learning. If you want to save money, go on Canva. Start learning how to do these branded quotes because I've done so many. I've trained you know, my team how to do all these different types of content, how to syndicate them on all the platforms. So when people see that, they're going to actually see their website. They're, they're, you know, and they're, they're going to click on that. It, guess what? It's going to take them straight to their blog where they can read everything about them, who they are, what products they have, what services they have, all these things, right, guys? So all of this is branding. It's so important, guys. It's so important when it comes to uh, creating your personal brand, right? So let's talk about videos. And I know so many of you in my audience, you know, uh, you feel comfortable doing videos, you know, and uh, videos are great, guys. Videos are great. But you know what? The thing is, when you do videos, not many people are viewing them. Like when you go live, so many people, you're going to be reaching tons and tons of people, right? And this is what you want. You want to like, you know, I know videos, a lot of people feel comfortable doing videos because they're like, well, Nadia, you know, I can edit it and, 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 and do it over. Guys, that's all good. But I highly recommend start going live because when you start going live, guess what? You're going to be reaching tons and tons of people. A lot of people are going to be commenting on your video. A lot of people on your live video, okay? And a lot of people are actually going to be watching your you know, they're going to be viewing your live videos. They're going to be commenting. Okay, guys, guess what? Everyone that comments, everyone that clicks like on, on, your, on, on all your content, guys, guess what? They're all leads. They're all leads, right? But I'm going to get into that. But right now, I just want to discuss, uh, you know, the different types of content. Hey, Deborah, what's up, beautiful? Hey, Louis, thank you guys for joining me. Okay, so let's talk about training, guys. You want to hear something, guys? The fastest way to become an authority in this space, in this online space, guys, is by teaching, is by teaching, okay? So what you can do is, you can take a training, learn the training, implement the training, get results, right? And teach it to your audience. You wanna become an authority figure in, in this, this online space, guys? You need to start teaching. I'm serious, you need to start teaching. This is what I've, I've been doing, you know? And um, this is what you guys want to do. The fastest way to become an authority in this space is by teaching. Okay? So we just covered that. So let's talk about a blog. Guys, blogging is great because you could generate leads and sales from a blog. You can have all your business opportunities link on your blog. All of this stuff. Hey, Michelle, what's up, beautiful? Thank you so much. I'm giving them a lot of nuggets today. A lot of people are not doing that, you know? But guys... If you're not blogging, you need to start blogging. When you create your blog, right, you want to have your story in there. You want to have things about you. Tell people your life, right? You know, make sure you have your story in there because when it comes to personal branding, guys, it is so important that you put yourself out there. You have to be transparent because, listen, people are going to join you because they know, like, and trust you. How are they going to know, like, and trust you if you're not going to be transparent? You're not going to let people know who you are. And I know it's very, vern it's very you, you have to become very vulnerable, uh, you know, but guys, big deal. This is how people are going to feel. They have, you know, a connection with you, that they know you, 
and they can follow you and they can learn from you. Okay. Uh, this from Deborah. Deborah uh, blogging is on what network? Uh, Deborah, you have to like get a blog. You can go to GoDaddy. You can get a blog. You have to build a blog. You know, you want to get a domain name. You know, you, you want to get a domain name, something like you, you know, uh, www.debra uh, uh, Butler. But guys, a lot of people are so intimidated by blogging, right? It's not difficult. It's not difficult to blog. Guys, you can do a video like this video that I'm doing right now, right? After I'm done with this video, I'm going to upload it up into YouTube and then upload it into my blog. And I'm going to write about what this video was about. So guys, don't get intimidated blogging. You can write two or three paragraphs about what the video is about. Make sure you have your links, but it's going to take time for you to set it up. You know what I mean? Um, it's going to take time for you to set it up. But um, I highly recommend, if you guys are not blogging, you need to. And the great thing about creating, hey Carol, what's up, beautiful? The great thing, right guys, the great thing about creating branded quotes is that when you're branding these quotes to you, it's going to have an image of you. It's going to have your name, you know, it's going to have the name of your website. So when people see that, it's, they're actually going to be seeing, uh, the, you know, your, your website link. So they're going to click on that. Guess what? It's going to take them right to your blog where you have all your, your service or your products or whatever it is you're promoting, right guys, your courses and all of this stuff. So if you guys are not blogging, you need to start blogging. You all, you can send me a message and I'll tell you where to go to get a blog and all of this stuff. All right, guys. So I just wanted to share that, you know, with you guys. But listen, hey, Sophie, what's up, beautiful? Hey, Elaine. So guys, don't get intimidated when it comes to blogging. I know I was in the beginning and, you know, I created, I had a blog with another company, but I canceled that. And now I'm creating, I just created my new blog. You know, it took some time to get it together, but um, now I'm ready to like start blogging every day. You know, it takes time adding in a lot of things. It, it's, it is work, right guys? But you got to do it. Okay. So let's talk about educational stuff. Guys, you can create a post about something educational. Like for me, I'm, you know, I'm with Branding U University and I create a post, you know, that we're offering, um, you know, you can enroll for free, right? You can, you'll get access to free courses, free coaching, free training, you know, webinars, all of this to build your personal brand. So this is educational, right? So I created a post and I posted that and a lot of people actually, and I post my link. A lot of people, believe it or not, a lot of people click on that link and they enrolled. So many people has enrolled in Branding University. So it's so important, guys. Um, this is from Deborah. I want to stand out from my teammates. Um, Deborah, well, you're doing well. You're doing videos, but I, I looked at your profile. You're not doing branded quotes. You're not doing lifestyle images. Guys, you have to do all these things. You have, and, you, and another thing, when it comes to branding, you guys need to start telling your story. People want to, like, know who you are. You know what I mean? Um, guys, do one like this on your own. Yes, guys, listen to Carol. Exactly. Guys, it's so easy. You can, you know what you can do, guys? I know so many people are struggling with content because I've coached a ton, tons of people. I've coached tons of people. And what they really struggled with is content. Guys, you can look at, you can watch some of the marketers' videos, okay? And this is what I did in the beginning, right? Or you can go on YouTube. And, and find some public figure that you like and, and, and watch one of their trainings. Create your own content from it. Go live and talk about it. Guys, all this, all this is branding. All this is branding, right? So, but you know what you can do? You can watch some, some, uh, you know, some, of, uh, some of the other marketers' videos or even my videos and create content from it and go live and talk about it. And go live and talk about it. So see, creating content, guys, it's not difficult. It's not difficult to create content, all right? So now let's talk about how to, uh, how to get engagement from these content and how to turn them into leads and sales. Now, this is what a lot of people are struggling with. So if you don't have a target audience, you're going to struggle, all right? So you need to know who is your target audience. You need to know your niche very well, know your target audience, so you can create content to attract them. So let's say, you know, you create these lifestyle images, branded quotes, videos, live videos, training, blog, educational. Okay, guys, all this is content, right? 
You see everyone who comments on, on your videos or everyone that comments on your comment, you need to respond to each one of those comments, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to go to their page, click like, find something you like about what they're, they're discussing, and make a comment. Then what you want to do is you want to start building relationships with these people, okay? Go on Messenger, yet so many people are scared. So many people are scared to communicate with people. Guys, Facebook is a place where people come to, uh, to make friends, to communicate, to engage, all right? People don't come to Facebook to be sold or buy products. So you have to build relationships with them, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna go on Messenger, guys, send them a message, like, hey, John, how you doing? Oh, thank you so much, you know, for, um, for liking my video or my content or whatever it is, guys. You know, and then ask them, hey, John, what did you like about it? So when you ask them what did they like about it, guys, you don't know where this conversation can lead. You have to start building rapport with people. Get to know people. Become a friend, you know. But so many marketers don't know how to do this. Like, you know, I have so many people that send me friend requests, guys, and I'm not kidding, that are marketers. So, you know, before I accept their friend request, right, I go to their Facebook page. They're not getting engagement. You know, they're, they're it's, it, you know, obviously they need help, right? So I will send them a message. Hey, how you doing? You know, John, thank you so much, you know, for sending me the friend request. Thank you so much for connecting with me. What inspired you to like, you know, um, send me a friend request? Guys, you know what I get sometimes? A thumbs up. Guys, how is this communication? How, how can you build relationships with people when you're going to send them emoji of a thumbs up? I, I don't get it. So when I, you know, these type of people, I don't want them in my audience. If they don't know how to communicate with me, there's no point me keeping them on my friends list. I want people on my friends list that I can communicate with and eventually turn them into leads and sales. This is what this business is about, you know, but this is how, this is how you can, do, this is how to do this, guys. This is how to do this. But Michelle, do you agree with me or no? If you're going to send someone a, a, a friend request, right, and then they're going to send you a thumbs up, how can you communicate with people? Wait. Build relationships. Let me see. Build relationships is really important. People love people. People build business uh, with people. Exactly. Sylvette, you're correct. Guys, it's a relationship building on it's in any other platform, even if it's LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Instagram. It's all the same concept. It's all the same concept. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. Okay. Yeah, Michelle, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Ah, look at you. See him. <laughs> right, guys? How can people say that's like that's not a way to build relationships with people? That's not a way to build relationships at all. You know? Hey, Shelly, how are you doing? Would you like me to invite you on? Would you like to do? Um, would you like me to invite you on the camera? But guys, you know what I'm saying? It's about building relationships. It's about becoming friends first. People join people. People are not going to join you because, you know, because they, people are just not going to join you if they don't know who you are, right? And if they don't know, like, and trust you, they're not going to join you. This is network marketing, right, guys? So it's so important for you to build relationships. And you can create great pieces of content. You can create great pieces of content, guys, to build relationships with people. Um, hold on. This is from William. You are absolutely right, my friend. I am more inclined to purchase or listen to a good friend than... Uh, wait. Than a good friend than a complete stranger. Much love, respect. Oh, thank you so much, William. But guys, I'm serious. Guys, this is what I've done. I've only been doing this business for 20 months. 20 months. I've been coached. I've learned from a lot of the top leaders. I've, I'm, I'm, and you know what? I'm always learning. This works. You have to build relationship. You know? And if you're, gonna, if you're a marketer and you're going to send someone a friend request and they're taking the time out of their day to, to send you a message and respond to you and thank you for sending them a friend request and connecting with them, it's not wise for you to send a thumbs up. What does that mean? I don't understand sign language. And I don't want people like that in my audience. I want people in my audience who knows how to communicate. But yeah, I, hey Wayne, what's going on my friend? 
So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, that's right. It's all about build, about branding, guys. You're always stuck. Exactly, guys. You have to brand yourself. And you have to be transparent. You have to be able to put yourself out there. And you have to be able... You have to be good at communication, guys. You want to be good at communication? Listen, branding is not so much about the way you look and your appearance. People... People join people, okay? But yes, you also want to be groomed and, and, you know, look presentable, right? But people are going to join you, not because you're beautiful. If you're going to attract people because you're beautiful and your looks into your business, guess what? They're not going to join you because they, they're interested in, in the business. They're going to probably join you because, because of your looks. So you really, it's, it's, it's not worth it. Uh, when I send a thumbs up meaning I don't want to talk yet. Oh, so Sophit, you do that too when someone... But Sophit, I'm not talking about if you're like having a conversation with someone. Like, look, with Carol, I send Carol a thumbs up, but Carol and I have been working with each other for a long time. To me, they're not interested, no sense wasting time. Exactly, Michelle. But then why, guys, why send someone a friend request? You shouldn't be sending people a friend request if, if you're not willing to like talk to them and get to know them and build relationships. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to share that with you all. No thumbs up. Exactly, guys. You know, us marketers, we, we block people because of that. But if you want to be successful in this business, guys, you need to learn how to start communicating. And I'm not saying you guys in my audience. I'm just saying in general, you know. Thumbs up does not mean you don't want to talk. Uh, they join because of your personality. Yes. I see, I see it as an opportunity to teach them otherwise. Yes, Pat, exactly. But how can you, how can you teach someone if you're personally reaching out to them and thanking them? Like, you know, thank you so much for, you know, um, for sending me a friend request. You know, obviously you're reaching out to the person to introduce yourself. You know what I, Or at least say hello. Or at least say hello. You know what I'm saying, guys? So marketers like that, I'm just going to block them because I don't need people who, who sends me the thumbs up when I'm trying to communicate with them, you know? At least you could say hello. At least you could say hello. All right, guys? So I just wanted to share that. But yeah, you know, those type of people, it's difficult. If they're going to send you the thumbs up, it's difficult to turn them into leads. <laughs> it really is, you know? But c communication is key. And um, it's all about building relationship, guys. It's all about becoming friends you know, uh, being transparent and letting people get to know who you are. And remember, embrace lifelong learning. Exactly, exactly. William, you're 100% correct. Guys, as an entrepreneur, we're always going to be learning. Always, always. Things are always changing. Things are not going to stay the same. So you always have to invest in learning. You know, you always have to put time aside. You're always going to be learning new things in this business, you know. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Oh, by the way, guys, um... I'm going to be posting the link above this video. Um, so if you guys want to enroll into Branding U University for free, you're going to have access to tr weekly trainings, uh, webinars, um, free courses on how to build your personal, how to create and build your personal brand and, um, and coaching. Okay. So I'm going to be posting the link above this video. So if you guys want to enroll, please click on the link. And enroll. And after you have enrolled, please check your email to get the welcome letter into our university. Okay, guys? So I just wanted to share that with you all. So let me see. Um, uh, this is from Pat. See, at first I didn't know. I had to ask my daughter what to do. I had to learn. Pat, you know, it's this. Guys, I didn't know all these things. It didn't just happen overnight. I've been in this business 20 months. 20 months. But... I've learned so much. I'm like, I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly teaching people. I'm, I'm, I'm coaching people, you know, and I'm, and you're constantly going to be learning. You know what I mean? And this from Carol, be confident in what you do. If you don't, um, if you don't, you just say so. Exactly. Guys, guys, if someone asks you a question, even me, I don't know it all. If someone asks me a question, right. And I don't know the answer. I tell them, listen, I don't know the answer, but you know what? I will find out for you and I'll get back to you. You know what I mean? Um, this from Thomas. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Thomas. 
uh, this is from Pat so true always training the brain guys I mean it's from Paul Paul we're always gonna be learning we're always gonna be learning new skills um, things that used to work before is probably not gonna work now you know what I mean so we always have to keep learning we always have to keep learning you know uh, this is from Michelle me how are you you oh my gosh Michelle I hate that too people don't know how to communicate guys guys you cannot call yourself an online marketer if you don't know how to communicate if you don't know how to communicate communication is key and if you don't know how to communicate well and effectively guess what guys you're not gonna be successful as an online marketer you're not gonna be successful you will not be able to build teams no one is gonna join you because they, they're not gonna look up to you as an authority figure if you don't know how to communicate well okay guess what people want to learn from you people want to learn from you okay and this is how people are gonna join you if people look up to you as an authority figure and you know how to communicate well and all of this hey jazz what's up beautiful then they're gonna join you. you know why because they see you as an authority they see you as a leader they see you as a person that they can learn from okay guys so communication is key and I just wanted to, you know to um, even though I was talking about how to create content and turn them into um, leads and sales it turned into a little more communication as well but all of this guys is a part of building your personal brand all of this all of this is you know when it comes to your personal brand you know and I just wanted to share that with you all unless you are socially awkward you're in the wrong business oh my gosh Michelle exactly guys if you're socially awkward and you don't know how to socialize and, and all of this stuff this online world this business is not for you this business is not for you hey Jamie what's going on beautiful you know guys so I just wanted to share that people join people not robots oh my god I totally agree Michelle I totally agree okay guys so do you guys have any questions for me do you guys have any questions so remember I'm gonna be posting a link above here okay guys uh, to enroll into branding new university it's free to enroll uh, we're launching in August so right now I'm enrolled in students so um, you know you guys can sign up you guys can enroll now and uh, you will have access to free courses uh, coaching you know weekly training and webinars okay guys to build your personal brand so I just wanted to share that with you all and this from Peter yes in marketing things are always changing so you have to keep learning Peter exactly guys as entrepreneurs we're always gonna be learning we are always gonna be learning we're always gonna be learning you know we always have to like keep educating ourselves you know because it's always it's always changing guys um, this is from Jay Donald when you stop learning your debt Jay I totally agree with you I totally agree with you you know oh you're welcome Delroy I hope you guys was able to get a lot of value from this you know because I see so many marketers who could be who could become very very successful in this business but they're not they're not doing it correctly and communication guys is key people are not gonna connect with you if you don't know how to communicate with them they're just not gonna do that you know okay guys so I'm gonna let you all go so listen I love you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you all tomorrow okay bye everyone